dear students welcome to a creative way to remember important trigonometric formulas using a hexagon this simple visual aid will help you recall all these formulas whenever you need them let's jump right in first let us mark the two sides of the hexagon right sign next to one side and cos next to the adjacent side now mark the rest of the sides of the hexagon we will write cosec next to the side opposite to sine and sec next to the side opposite to cos now let us complete our hexagon with tan and cot we will write tan next to this side and cot on the opposite side of the hexagon write one in the center this hexagon is a special diagram to help us remember some trigonometric identities always remember that the co-functions are all on the right side of this line we have now built our hexagon what do we get out of it well we can now follow around the clock to get all the quotient identities let us first draw an arrow from tan to cos in clockwise direction this arrow shows the relationship that tangent is the ratio of sine to cos that is tan theta is equal to sine theta by cos theta going further in a clockwise direction we get these quotient identities sin theta is equal to cos theta by cot theta cos theta is equal to cot theta by cosec theta cot theta is equal to cosec theta by sec theta cosec theta is equal to sec theta by tan theta sec theta is equal to tan theta by sin theta Let us now draw an arrow from cot to sine in an anti-clockwise direction. This arrow shows the relationship that cot is the ratio of cosine to sine. That is, cot theta is equal to cos theta by sine theta. Going further, in an anti-clockwise direction, we get these quotient identities. Cos theta is equal to sine theta by tan theta. sin theta is equal to tan theta by sec theta tan theta is equal to sec theta by cosec theta sec theta is equal to cosec theta by cot theta cosec theta is equal to cot theta by cos theta we can also get the reciprocal identities by going through the one For this, let us draw arrows connecting each function with its reciprocal counterpart. Draw arrows from sine to cosec, cos to sec, cot to tan and vice versa. These arrows represent the reciprocal identities. For example, the arrow from sine to cosec reminds us that sin theta is equal to 1 by cosec theta cos theta is equal to 1 by sec theta cot theta is equal to 1 by tan theta cosec theta is equal to 1 by sin theta sec theta is equal to 1 by cos theta tan theta is equal to 1 by cot theta The hexagon also shows that a function between any two functions is equal to them multiplied together. For example, tan theta multiplied by cos theta is equal to sin theta. Similarly, tan theta multiplied by cosec theta is equal to sec theta. Sin theta multiplied by sec theta is equal to tan theta and so on. Now observe that tan and cot are opposite to each other 
and 1 is between them. So, tan theta multiplied by cot theta is equal to 1. Similarly, we get sin theta multiplied by cosec theta is equal to 1. And cos theta multiplied by sec theta is equal to 1. To remember our next set of identities, let us draw three arrows like this in clockwise direction. The arrow connecting sine, cos and 1 inside our hexagon is a reminder of the Pythagorean identity. This identity tells us that the square of the sine plus, the square of the cosine for any angle theta is always equal to 1. Similarly, the arrows connecting 1, cot and cosec gives us the next Pythagorean identity. That is, 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. Finally, the arrow connecting tan, 1 and sec gives us the next Pythagorean identity. Tan square theta plus 1 is equal to sex square theta. We can also travel counterclockwise around a triangle. For example, 1 minus cos square theta is equal to sine square theta. Cosec square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. Sex square theta minus 1 is equal to tan squared theta. Let us now draw horizontal arrows from sine to cos, tan to cot and sec to cosec, which will give us these cofunction identities. Sine theta is equal to cos 90 degrees minus theta. Tan theta is equal to cot 90 degrees minus theta. And sec theta is equal to cosec 90 degrees minus theta. There we have it, a hexagon-based mnemonic method to remember key trigonometric formulas. This simple visual tool can make trigonometry identities easy to remember. If you have found this method helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more creative ways to learn and remember math concepts. Thanks for watching!